right, so here's the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Good champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. Ready. Ready. Good. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Left hand. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Making all these shots count. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice kick. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands often. He lands a switch key. Oh, the Superman punch lands. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Out of range with that one. Nice takedown. There you go. And now is where things could get really interesting. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Look at that. Recognize who's about to lose position. All right, side control now. Let's go, we got a scramble here. Nurmagomedov's got him in a crucifix, gonna work from the top now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Oh, and a switch kick to the body for good measure. Nice work there by Nurmagomedov. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, big punch land. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, triangle choke by Nurmega Metal. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, that's gotta be it, come on. That is so deep. He's bridging. Oh, no way he got it. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. Lands with the ground and pound here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 
Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. So once again, Khabib Nurmagomedov dominating the opposition here tonight. Tremendous grappling ability, and he does a lot of things that the average fan can't even see. Johnny tells you. He also tells you what he is going to do. The game plan is not a secret when it comes to Habib. He's going to get in your face, he's going to press, he's going to take you down. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you have to level run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time, you're getting dragged to the floor constantly. You're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns. Switching up the techniques constantly, changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard. But if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at those left legs. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, big elbow. All right, just like we saw in the previous round, the takedown is there at will. He actually got a side wager with you on over 10 takedowns tonight. You wouldn't take the bait, and perhaps it's a good thing. Yeah, that's such a high number. So while it seems tempting, you gotta turn away from it. Hey, a bet's only a bet because they know they are. Marmanko Medoff's going for the sub here. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, he caught out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Medoff. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Man, the body work really started to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Pass. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Oh, and he's back up again. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at the clinch there is good by Navago Medoff. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good. Big double leg, level change. Going for a submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Got it very tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Marty 
goes as the distance gets the single collar tie. Just out of range with that strike. 90 seconds now to go in the round. All right, so a little wealth there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Another big thing. Under a minute now to go in this one. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, right into Mount. Khabib's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. He's got to be careful here. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace Ready, over 15 or 25 minutes. Ready. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progress. Oh, nice. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Now they separate. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. And Marco Medov gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Nermanko Medov is trying for a submission here. Oh my goodness, he might have it. Oh, he's out! Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Great job landing from the top position. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Huge knee land. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the set too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook. It almost, oh, nice double leg, yes. He passes to half guard. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, 
went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Going for a submission. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission what? defense wins this transition. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Stay in tight. Stay in tight. Grab the head. Grab the head. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Now we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an Ready exhausting type of fight. Ready. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Got the single collar tie. Oh, now gets an un. Oh, takes oh, it oh my God. Back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not me. I just had to <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Now he's going full mount. This is where he wants to be. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in, and largely DC, that's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going to him. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent.
Nice crack there. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing with his nasty, vicious elbow. Leg kick lands. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Another shot here. Barely missed on the double. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also... Oh, double leg lands! If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Nermago Medoff's in half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle because the guy hit him. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Nermago Meta. Getting the ball here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Nicely done. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nermako Menops, all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Seconds left. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Once again, employing the knee. And there's the double leg takedown. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his Ready offense fight. go because of the Ready. fear of getting taken down back to the mat. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedown, to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up, the top control, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secure takedowns, they're winning. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice combination of elbows there by Nermago Medoff. 
Well, at this point, he is black and blue all over, high-level damage, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually, even though it's body damage, just the ref calling the doctor. It's almost over. John, this fight's almost over. At any point now, they can stop. The doctor steps into the octagon, I believe this fight's gonna be called off. All right, side control now. Now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Well, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Now he's got the striking going. Another connection there. And that shot actually cut him, or so it appears. Yeah, you could tell that if he kept landing at the rate that he would, it would start to get damage on his opponent. Right now, you see him get his first ball. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pick to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pick. Went for the inside leg kick. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Well, thank God the left one's open because that right eye is really starting to shut. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacks, he secures, and on we go. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't you? Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Nice transition. Khabib's now looking for a Darce choke. That Darce choke is tight. to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landing huge ground ball. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nermago Medov's back inside control here. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for, because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Great shot from the top position. Five seconds remain in the round. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Hands high, hands high. Slips the left hand. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, nice, nice. 20 seconds left. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Right here, engaging a single collar tie. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and not going to help the swelling upstairs. Oh. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title.
The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Hermano Mera. Why is the judges' scorecards needed? Not often the case when.